Hello and welcome to this week's video cast from spiderworking.com and this week is part four in our series of setting up a Facebook business page and this week I'm going to be showing you how you can make your page look a little bit prettier so I'm going to be showing you how you can add and edit images to that marquee at the top and I'm also going to show you one tool that you can use to create a custom landing tab so let's go to the page that we've set up now the first thing I'm going to show you is how you can change these images at the top of your page, how you can fill those in. And we showed you in part one how to upload a photograph to your Facebook business page, but this time we're going to upload an entire album. So what comes up in those top five photographs are the last five photographs you've uploaded. So we've clicked on create an album. And we're going to choose some photographs from our hard drive. So you click on select photos. And here's some we prepared earlier. These are the last five pictures we want to add. And click on open. And then it will upload those photographs. And while it's uploading, you can choose a name for the album. So we're calling ours Chomsky the Cat after the star of the photographs. And you can also choose whether you want to have standard quality or high resolution. Now if you're a photographer or an artist, it might be worth going for the high resolution, but it does take a lot longer to upload. Once the photos are finished uploading, you'll be brought to your album page where you can edit some information about the photographs. But just click publish now. And then click on the name of your page here on the left hand side and you'll see as the last five photos that we uploaded they've now appeared in the marquee at the top now if one of those you don't really want to appear there it's quite easy to edit it so you see if you hover your mouse over it a little X comes up in the top right hand side so you just click on that X and the first time that you do this it will remind you what you're doing and you see it will bring back the, the photograph previous to that that you've had and you can delete as many as you like leaving hopefully your five favorite photographs. Now the next thing I want to show you is we talk about custom landing tabs here a lot and it's actually you can actually create quite good ones for free like this one from Prince for Gifts, this one from garagesale.co.uk, this one from the National College of Ireland and finally our friends at Garandani Lane Interiors Lorna so to create one of these, you can use the application PageModo. So go to pagemodo.com, click to uh, connect with Facebook, and you'll need to go through a process to allow the application. And then it gives you some standard layouts that you can work from to create your own page. And this then can become the page that people see first when they arrive on your Facebook page, before they click the like. So once you've done all that and you've gone through the application, you need to make that your custom landing tab. You need to make that the landing tab for your page. So if you click on edit page on the top right hand side here and under manage permissions you'll see this default landing tab. So you need to click on that and from the drop down menu choose welcome or whatever you named your page. And this will mean that the first page people see when they visit your Facebook page if they haven't clicked the like button already will be this one. And just click back on the wall to see your photos from earlier. Well that's all from me for this week. If you've enjoyed our series so far, don't forget to like our Facebook page. Link's coming up here. I'm going to post up there a Facebook crib sheet. So if you want to click through to the page, you'll find our Facebook crib sheet full of handy information on how to use Facebook for your business. Until next week, bye.